Well, there's so many choices, too many choices. But uh, so I had one thing all prepared, and then this afternoon, this council conducted a workshop on phase two of the City of Moscow Surface Water Feasibility Study. We listened and asked many questions of the consultant from SPF, SPF Water Engineering in Boise, supported by research from Moscow's own Terra Graphics Environmental. There were many options presented to augment our aquifer drawdown, especially as our water for irrigation use rises in the summer. From pumping from the Snake River or Dwarshack Reservoir on the North Fork of the Clearwater or pumping from the North Fork of the Palouse River to a smaller reservoir in the Moscow Mountain drainage of the South Fork of the Palouse River for irrigation purposes only, or even diverting water from Paradise Creek or the South Fork of the Palouse River for potential passive or active recharge of the aquifer. These could cost anywhere from $1.4 million up to $149 million if an option to supply the whole region were adopted. Looking at this, conservation continues to be the least expensive course of action, limiting the need for a larger size and scope of project. The possibility of a warming summer climate by the year 2060 emphasizes this even more. In renewing our focus, we're keeping our eye on the needs of the future and planning ahead rather than reacting to a crisis. This is one of the reasons I've been proud to serve as a council member of this city. So now let us rise and say our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sue. That was nice.